Welcome to Joe Omega Virtual Learning. This lesson we'll be talking about cumulative frequency curve and box plot. May I suggest that if you haven't watched the first video on box plot, you go back to watch box plot because you might need to know how to draw box plot before coming to watch cumulative frequency and box plot. Please share this channel with your friends, subscribe to it, and click the notification button so you will be alerted of any video that I post. Thank you. In today's lesson, we'll be talking about how to draw cumulative frequency curve and also how to draw box plot from cumulative frequency curve. Then we'll also learn how to compare cumulative frequency curves. Okay, let's look at drawing cumulative frequency curve. Joanna measures the height of her plants in her greenhouse every week to check their growth. The height of 80 plants in one week are shown below. So the frequency table below summarizes the data that Joanna got from measuring 80 of her plants. So let's try to explain what this frequency, frequency stands for. When you pick a number from the frequency, say number 9, what it means is that 9 of the plants measured between 30 to 40. We can't entirely be sure of the exact measurement of each of the 9, but what we know is 9 of the plants measure between 30 and 40. The 14 here shows that also the 14 shows that 14 of her plants measure between 60 and 70. Okay. The word cumulative frequency simply means adding up the frequency one after the other. Cumulative frequency meaning add the frequency one after the other. So when you are supposed to draw a cumulative frequency curve from the cumulative from the tally table or the frequency table, you need to create one more color and you, the heading should be cumulative frequency. And as the name suggests, you are going to add the frequency one after the other. So the first frequency you see is three, you put it down and you keep on adding the next one after the other. So you add five to three, that will give you eight, then you add five to eight and so on. So this is what you have after adding one after the other. And like I said, the total should give you exactly the number of plants that you have. Now let's also explain what the cumulative frequency stands for. Let's pick a number like 48. What it means that 48 of the plants measure from 0 to 60 because it's cumulative. So 48 here means 48 of the plants measure between 0 to 60 centimeters. 22 here means 22 plants measure between 0 and 40 in that order. Sometimes you may be given a table like this and they will ask you to find out how many plants measured less than 50 centimeters. How many plants measured less than 50 centimeters? You can get your answer from the frequency column or get your answer from the cumulative frequency column. I'm going to show you both ways. So how many plants measured less than 50 centimeters from the frequency? You go to where you have 50. Remember there are two of them. Don't use this one because this one goes up to 60. So we use the, this one instead, less than 50. And it's 11. Then you add from 11 all the way up. So adding all the way up is less than the number given. So less than 50, 11 plus 9 plus 5 plus 5 plus 3. That's how we get the answer. You can also get answers from this cumulative frequency column because less than 50 is exactly 33. Because 33 is between 0 and what 50. Exactly 33. Now, they could ask you how many plants measured over 80? How many plants measured over 80? Using the frequency of over 80, we are here, it's 6 plus 4. You add these two. 
over. So when it's over, you pick the frequency, you add downwards. But do not use the cumulative frequency and add. That will be wrong. That will be wrong because you need to be very careful. Because the 76 is from 0 to 90. So if you want 80 or more than 80, it's 6 plus 4. So that's enough of interpreting the table. Now let's do cumulative frequency curve. Once you've done your cumulative frequency curve, you now focus your, your attention on only the last numbers on the class width and your cumulative frequency. You plot them as coordinates. The way you plot coordinates, the height numbers that I've put uh, mark around will be your S co coordinate and this will be your Y coordinate. So we have our graph, then we plot them 10 and 3, 10 and 8, and so on. You plot. That's it. So remember, we only use the last numbers on the class interval and the cumulative frequency. And once you finish, you join with a smooth curve. But remember, because the first number here is zero, you have to start from zero, then you join through the points. So this is the how to draw cumulative frequency curve. Right. Now, the shortest plant in Joanna's greenhouse is 8 cm, and the tallest is 94 cm. And we've already been given the box, uh, the cumulative frequency curve, and we are supposed to draw a box plot for the data. Okay. Like we said in earlier lesson, box plot make uh, we make use of only five calculations: the smallest, the biggest, the lower quartile, the median, and the upper quartile. We already know the smallest and the biggest. So all we need is our median, lower quartile, and interquartile range. So we need to estimate that from the graph. So when you have a cumulative frequency curve to draw a box plot, you need to estimate your quartiles and the medium from the graph. So we're going to estimate median. Let's start with median. Like I said, median, quartile is the first quarter. Median is the second quarter. And second quarter is like a half. So median is halfway. So to find the median, you divide the total, which is the top of the graph that's 80 that's the total of the plants you can always get it from the top of the graph you divide 80 by 2 because you want the middle it's halfway that gives you the 40th that is not an answer that tells you the position where you will find the exact measurement so once you divide by 2 you get your 40th as the answer you need to go and read from the graph so you go to the 40th on the cumulative frequency straight line hit the graph bring it down and read the height so 40 bring it down and we read that mark and we have 54 cm so a median from the graph is 54 cm lower quartile means the first quarter so we will find a quarter of the total which is 80 divided by 2 so lower quartile is 80 divided by 4 sorry Lower quarter is the first quarter. 80 divided by 4 will give you the 20th. So the answer is in the 20th position or 20th place. So you go to the graph again, draw your 20th line, hit the graph, bring it down, and read your number. That gives me 38. Upper quarter means 3 quarters. 3 quarters. So you find 80 divided by 4 times by 3. Upper quarter is 3 quarters. So 80 divided by 4 is 20, 20 times 3 is 68. You read the 68th line, bring it down, 68. So we now have all our five numbers. Smallest, biggest, given. We work out the median, lower quartile, and the upper quartile. All we need to do is to pull the numbers. So HCM, we mark it. The median, 54, we mark it. Lower quarter, 38. Upper quarter, 68. Then the biggest or the tallest number, 94. 
then complete the box plot. So this is how we draw cumulative so box plot from cumulative frequency curve. Always you have to estimate your median in the lower quarter and upper quarter from the graph. You might be given the smallest and the biggest number to draw. Next is what if we have two cumulative frequency? How do we compare without having to use box plots? Okay, before we do that, interquartile range, as usual, is upper quartile minus the lower quartile, which gives us 68 minus 38, and that's 30 centimeters. Right. We have two cumulative frequency. The pink one is greenhouse plants from Gabriella's greenhouse, and the black one is from Joanna's greenhouse. So they, they both took 80 plants and measured the height. And from the data, we have a, a cumulative frequency. We are supposed to compare these two greenhouse, the plants. We are not using box plot, but we can still compare. To do that, we need to work out our median and interquartile range. So like uh, median and interquartile range are the best uh, statistics that we normally use to compare things. But to work on the quartile range, you might need to do the lower quarter and the upper quarter. So we're going to go step by step measuring or uh, estimating this stuff one after the other. They both have a total of 80 plants, so we're still going to use 80 for all of them. Sometimes in an exam, it might be different, so you need to check the total for each of the cumulative frequency. For this one, 80 is the total. So, the median, as usual, is 80 divided by 2 for both of them. So as you can see, 40th line, 40th line for Gabriela and Joanna. So we put in a 40th line. Let's measure the answer for Joanna first. So we bring it down on Joanna's line, that's the black line. That gives us... 54. Then we do the same for Gabriella on the pink line. That gives us 60. Let's do the lower quartile, which is a quarter. So we divide 80 by 4. Both will be 20th. Put in the 20th line. Measure Joanna's face on the black line. 38. And the pink line for Gabriella. That gives us 48. Let's do the upper quartile, which is three quarters of the total. So 60 for both instances. Put in the 60th line. Let's measure Joanna's face on the black. 68. Then Gabriella's. 66. So we can now use the lower quartile and upper quartile to work out our interquartile range. So let's work out. You want us in the quarter range? 68 minus 30. 68 minus 38 is 30 centimeters. Let's work out Gabriella's in the quarter range. 66 minus 48 is 18 cm. In case you've forgotten, in the quarter range is upper quartile minus lower quartile. In the quarter range is upper quartile minus the lower quartile. We did it in the facts uh, lesson on box plot. Now, we can now make some comparison. First, you can see that using the median, Gabriella's median, 60, is bigger than Joanna's median. That's one observation. Second observation, the quarter range, Gabriella's intercortile range, 18, is smaller than Joanna's the quarter range of 30. Now, when that happens, how do you conclude? The conclusion we can draw is that because Gabriel's median is bigger than Joanna, we can say, on average, the plants in Gabriel's greenhouses are taller than Joanna because median of Gabriella is bigger than Joanna. So, on average, the plants in the greenhouse of Gabriella are taller than Joanna's plants. Secondly, because Gabriella's in the quarter range is smaller 
than Johannes in the quarter range, it means that the, the growth of Gabrielle's plant are more consistent and there is less variability in the plant's uh, growth of Gabriella. So when the quarter range is smaller, it, it's best because it means that the median is with the data. So the median for Gabriella is more consistent with the data than the median of Joanna because Joanna's data is more varied, especially the middle data is more varied. 50% of the data is more varied because it has a bigger intercortical range. So, conclusion, Gabriel's plants on average are taller than Joanna's and Gabriel's data is less varied and more consistent. That's how you can conclude. Gabriel's plants on average are taller than Joanna's and Gabriel's data is less varied and more consistent. And that brings us to the end of our lesson on cumulative frequency curve and box plot and comparing cumulative frequency curves. Hope you've enjoyed it. Share with your friends, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Thank you.